What is good? Playboy 2 is back in the video, and today we're going to be talking about a crazy patent that Sony has officially created along the lines of an AI taking control of your controller and playing a game for you. But before you even dive to today's video, quick reminder, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as hit the like button, share the video around, much appreciated. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, off rip, this is a very weird <laughs> and uh, bizarre patent that Sony is, uh, I suppose diving into more so the future we have no idea when this patent is going to be in full effect on the ps5 but we do know there is impossible there is a huge possibility of this happening and uh we just want to discuss it a little bit now this article goes on to say have you ever felt like there's not enough time in a day to play all the games you want in addition to eating sleeping working well sony interactive entertainment recent patent an automated artificial intelligence control mode for playing specific tasks during gaming applications. And it goes into full detail on this. Filed by Sony Interactive in April 2020 and published this month, the patent application outlines a way that artificial intelligence or AI can study a person's playstyle and then assist or take over their gaming sessions as required. Now, I. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I'm gonna tell you right now. This is clearly Sony spying on you, <laughs> point blank. Period. A lot of people say no, Sony's not spying on you. This and that. no, Sony, Sony's definitely spying on you. Okay, and I just find it hilarious that everybody was clowning Xbox, saying, "Hey, you know the Connect is always on." You remember back in 2013, it was cool to be like, "Hey, man, Xbox is spyware." Okay, then what the hell is this? I mean, it quite literally says it's keeping tabs on your activities and. <laughs> whatever let's just keep reading according to the patent a default play mode could be assigned to a user and initially the ai would simulate generic human behavior and then the article just goes on basically saying how this could be very controversial when it comes to multiplayer games simply because people could easily use a bot to play the games for them and this could easily promote boosting and lobbies like say call of duty or the next battlefield that comes out either way this is i don't hopefully this isn't going to be a thing because i feel like a lot of people are going to misuse this and just basically cheat at the game like can you imagine going in the going going into the kitchen right you're trying to make yourself a sandwich trying to get cereal or whatever and while you're doing that the ai is taking control of your controller and going up against actual players who are on the controller playing the game that is ridiculous i'm sorry now unless they're trying to do this for the small proportion of gamers who are unfortunately disabled and can't do certain tasks then i'm all for it but at the end of the day we all know people are going to use this to cheat so i don't know let me know in the comments what you think about this do you think it's a good thing do you think it's a terrible thing let me know what you think about it and if it is going to be pretty soon that they're going to release this patent and uh it's your boy someone's doing them out